So today I am letting a random generator decide what I built. I will have this website linked down below if you want to try it for yourself, but if you scroll down, you can click randomize and it will randomize something like build a pink suburban townhouse in Forgotten Hollow. That's very funny, by the way. With the law trait, natural light for four cents with a budget of 68K must include these items, right? And you can turn packs on and off depending on what you have. It's pretty cool. Oh, you can also, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna leave everything as default and see what we get. Let's just, let's just roll it. A red modern farmhouse. What? In Sulani? <laughs> Well, that's not gonna fit in. With the lot trait eco lot for seven Sims with a budget of 86K, it must include a bowling alley, <laughs> a fountain, and three Star Wars objects. <laughs> Ew, how am I gonna do that? Okay, let's, let's head to Sulani. A red modern farmhouse. It has to be for seven Sims, which means there at least needs to be seven beds or I could maybe throw in a couple of double beds for like couples. So that way we don't need as many bedrooms. I think that's a good idea, but I'm gonna need a pretty big lot. Let's see if we can make it work 40 by 30. Okay, so the budget is $86,000. We're working on a red modern farmhouse with the lot trait eco lot. Okay, well, there's another trait that I can't remove. So, okay, eco lot. This lot moves towards eco-friendliness faster than others. Okay, I don't think that's gonna really hinder our experience. <laughs> okay, but it has to be big enough for a bowling alley. Bowling alleys are huge. They're huge. And needs a fountain and three Star Wars objects. We can squeeze those in, no problem. But let's try to work on this red modern farmhouse thing. I guess I'm gonna have to make this two stories. Maybe what I can do is make it a one story house with a basement. Oh, we could put the bowling alley in the basement. That makes sense to me. Most of the pictures I looked up, they're just like rectangles, kind of like this. Then they have like a front porch. I literally think I just made a house like this. I feel like the last time I built a house, it looked like this. Okay, there's like the general gist of it. That looks like a farmhouse to me. We just need to add some columns and some stairs. It has to be red, right? Okay, so maybe I'll make the columns. I don't know. I don't know how to make this look good. In my head, it does not sound good. And by sound, I mean look. <laughs> I guess I'll just do white columns? I don't know. Maybe I can get like a red brick stair. The one that I'm looking at online has it like all the way down, which is kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. And then maybe I'll do like a red brick. This is gonna be so bad. Once I put the wallpaper on, it's gonna be so bad. Maybe I don't need this to- Oh yeah, I forgot there's a budget. Oh, I better relax. <sighs> Uh, okay. A lot of those modern farmhouses have like the vertical slats or like shiplap look because that's like the farmhouse vibe. But they're usually white. Like the modern farmhouse vibe, they're usually like white. Obviously we're not doing that though. We are doing red. So it's like this, but vertically like this, but not so distressed. Maybe like this. That is insanely vibrant. I'm gonna be honest. It kind of hurts my eyes. This sucks. Should I do a red roof too? What kind of roof do I even do? Oh, oh heavens. Okay, what if I did like a black roof? I mean, at least that would look good. Well, it would look better. It does look better. It does. Just not by like a ton. I guess I should put like red flooring down right here. Some of these hurt my eyes. Like, why? Oh, this is painful. Okay, so we need a fountain. We can put that outside for sure. Okay, I didn't know that you couldn't put like floor tiles down out here on the sand for some reason. So I just have to make this volcanic ash <laughs> looking thing. Maybe we could put down some palm trees. I hardly ever use them. So it might be kind of fun. Oh, cute. That's huge. Let's downsize that boy a little bit. Relax, take a chill pill. Oh my God, that was even bigger. We also need a front door, which do I also have to make that red? I refuse. I just simply refuse. Okay, so what's the layout of this house gonna be? Oh wait, if I'm gonna make a basement, I haven't made a basement in a really long time. Where am I gonna put it? Cannot build below ground level on waterfront lots. What? My whole plan foiled. Bestie, there's no way. How am I so- This is gonna have to go outside. I just simply don't have room for this inside. I- I'm shocked! 
I didn't think they were that big. Okay, we do need a fountain outside. That is a must. We have to have that. So, so far we've gotten the bowling alley and the fountain. We need three Star Wars objects and we need a place for seven Sims. And we still have a budget. Granted, we still have quite a, a big budget. Let me try to figure this out because I'm trying to make a bunch of bedrooms right now. I'm going to figure out where the kitchen and everything's going later. So I got to worry about all these Sims. They all got to have places to sleep. Maybe we could do a bunk bed situation. We could put like four in one room. Could be four kids. You don't know. What if it's four kids, two parents, parents and a grandparent. Yeah, that's seven. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do math. So how about we take a bunk bed and let's put four beds in there. So that's four Sims taken care of. And then I say we do a double bed in here. That room might actually be a little bit too big, but oh well. I figured this could be like the master bedroom and then like this could be the master bathroom. It's kind of big. And then over here can maybe be like where the grandparent sleeps next to the kids. Sorry, sorry, grandma. She can get a double bed too. She's a grown up. And then this will be a bathroom and then this will be a bathroom. So this is gonna be a bathroom that these two people, well, <laughs> these five people use. Ooh, that's gonna be tough, but good luck. So then the rest of this needs to be divided up into like kitchen, living, dining, office? I don't know. It's actually like almost too big. <laughs> Maybe I made it too big. I'm so bad with floor plans, by the way. I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna put in some closets. I don't remember the last time I've even used those items. I just simply don't remember. Okay, I've made like a short <laughs> back door so you can actually get out here and use the bowling alley. I've done like a built-in desk there because I just had a random space. Two closets. I guess this is like the entryway. I just don't know what to do about the rest of this layout. Maybe I'll make this enclosed. And I'll put like a little arch. That's kind of cute. I think that's cute. And then maybe this could be like an open floor plan plan actually. Ooh, I did forget to put a door in here though. So like maybe that could be like the living space and then this could be like a kitchen and then no dining room. Maybe I'll just make this bigger. Maybe? Let's see if it works because there is a door right there. So let's see if that's gonna work. I can't really put anything on this wall because the door is right there. Shoot. Hold on. Maybe I should move this whole thing over, but then I need to move this. But where? It's so big. It's kind of floating on the water, <laughs> but you know what? Whatever. Should I push this further? I can do more inside if I do. I don't see the point. Let's just push it because now I can bring this baby around town and we can put a fridge. I do have to keep the budget in mind, but like, I feel like I'm pretty confident that I'm not going to go over. <laughs> there we go. So now we can have like a sink and then here, we can have the stove. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like that. Okay, it's like a good size kitchen. And I've done a green kitchen because I've been kind of obsessed with these lately. I'm not gonna lie. We'll put in a vent hood right there. Some bar stools. Okay, so that is a good general layout. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots for people to sleep. Actually, eight. I did. A, I went a little overboard there. We got a little built-in desk over there. Built-in. I think it's okay. It's not amazing, but I think it's okay. All right, let's light this baby up. I do need to add windows, though, now that I have the layout. That's gonna be the next thing. And I think it's gonna be hard. <laughs> it's gonna be difficult. I'm not looking forward to it. I have been putting it off. <laughs> If it's a farmhouse, shouldn't it have like shutters on the windows and stuff? It's a modern farmhouse. What does that really mean, you know? Oh, they've got red windows though. Oh, they have red shutters. God, that's so much better. <laughs> Maybe I just do something like that. I don't like that. On the inside though, where do those windows fall? Ugh, no. Okay, hold on. We just scooch them really close together. And I like that they're in both of the bathrooms. It's like the one room that you really don't need to worry about windows in. I just like put two in there. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so here's like the more solid ones that are just one piece. We'll stick those in a few areas. They look so small from the inside. That's the only thing I don't like. Oh, <gasps> if this is like right behind the sink. Oh, I know it looks really weird from the outside, but so good from the inside. Who's gonna judge us? The dolphins? There's nobody back here. We can just cover up this spot with an outdoor decoration. No one will be able to tell. Yeah, maybe some moss or what is this? Vines, ivy. <laughs> I got there in the end. That's definitely something, but okay. Yeah, this room is a bit problematic. Should grandma maybe not have her own double bed? Or maybe I should just like push it up. Oh, I hate it. I don't like it though. I could maybe do that. I mean, if there's just one person sleeping in there, hypothetically, then it should be fine. Okay, I think that's it for windows and everything. I think we're good. I need to put one up here. There is something so damn cute about these round windows. Oh, I hope my next house has a round window. They're so cute. Okay, well, there was nothing saying that it had to be red on the inside. So I'm gonna just gonna try to make this look nice, okay? Okay, I've got wood floors, carpet in the rooms, tile in the bathrooms. We're looking good. Now for wallpaper. Hmm, I think I want to do something a little bit fancy. 
I'm gonna do like a fun ombre thing in the kids' room. I hardly ever use this, so let's just use it. Grandma's room can be gray. Or no, maybe it should be like a mint color. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's just kind of fun. <laughs> and then the parents' room. I do kind of like the gray. I like gray though. I, I think it looks nice. <laughs> and then in the bathrooms, let's just do like this white tile. Are there only two bathrooms? Probably should have put more in, but that's okay. Yeah, who's keeping track? We'll make this one tiny space red, just as a reminder of what the outside of the house looks like, just in case you forgot. I do still have to put in three Star Wars objects, so I think I'll put in <laughs> one here. <laughs> that's the start. There we go. That's kind of like the entryway. I've got like a mirror, a little place to hang this stuff, place to hang this, some towels, random Star Wars object, a bunch of shoes. I feel like this is okay. I also realized I just forgot to put a trash can in here. They would have ripped me to shreds for that one. Yes, they would. Okay, some more entryway stuff right here. Also, I don't know where this apron item came from, but it is adorable. Oh, like I wanna put it next to the kitchen. There's not really any like space. I might just like stick it over here. It's so cute. Oh, I love it. That's such a cute item. I love that item. That's so good. Right, we'll put one of these on the wall. It's kind of fun. All right, should I put a fireplace? The answer is usually yes. I was kind of hoping I could find something that would tie in the, oh wait, wait. that kind of does, that's okay. I was like, I like the purple curtains and I want something to like work. <laughs> Like just work. That does work. That's okay. Do I want these couches? I love this couch, but I just know there's not gonna be a matching one. How dare they put this couch in and not put a matching love seat? It's so mean. This couch is beautiful. It's so mean. There you go. I'm tying in the purple. I got a lot of colors happening here. <laughs> Oh, I could also do that. That's probably better. Maybe I'll just go with this like leathery color. Very unlike me, but I don't know. I guess it kind of ties in like the pillows on the other couch. So maybe that's why I like it. I don't know. I'm just trying to go for some different colors in this place. Something out of the ordinary. Speaking of out of the ordinary, this end table. It's shocking I haven't put any plants in here yet. That's the first one. The kitchen is fine. I'll put some like little doggy treats in there just cause I think it's cute. Maybe like some lemons. What else could I do? Oh, I could put another Star Wars object. I need two more. Oh, that's huge. Come on. Okay, that kind of looks like a vase. It's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse. Okay, I feel like this main area is like pretty much done. People are gonna be mad at this one because it definitely covers up a window, but that's okay in my book. I just wanted to give them a shower and a bath and that's just the easiest way for me to do that. Luckily, the budget was pretty high. I don't really feel like we're gonna come anywhere near it. Perfect place for a towel. Perfect place for a towel. A bath mat, perhaps. All right, that was easy. Okay, I've already got the bed that I want in here, so that helps me out. Ooh, those match the bed. That's perfect. I wasn't planning on doing that, but that's great. Okay, now let's get a dresser. We could put a plant here. If I want to do this mirror again, and I love to do that, it's not going to fit there anyway, so maybe I do put a plant there, and I just put the mirror over there. Anywhere I can squeeze in a plant, I'm doing it. Are there any Star Wars plants? Oh, that one's not that bad. It kind of looks like flowers. Oh, that one's not. <gasps> Okay, there are a few Star Wars items that I will let slide. <laughs> Got some clutter on there. All right, that's pretty much done too. As far as this little built-in area, I'll just like change some of the colors. We'll put a computer. This is gonna be like one of those family computer situations. You know what I'm saying? We used to have one of those as a kid and we would play Nancy Drew games on it. I also recently just played Nancy Drew on my Twitch channel. So if you wanna follow my Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash Vixella. Put a painting on there. I'm not really sure what else I can fit <laughs> on this desk. This computer is pretty big. Oh, there you go. Stuff does fit. I'm sorry, I doubted you. Maybe like some magazines. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, that's cute. Uh, moving on, let's do this bathroom. Just get all the bathrooms out of the way. How am I gonna do this one? Wait, I think that'll work good. I think that'll work good. I might do the same thing I did last time with this shower, just so they have both. It's good to have options, okay? I am gonna switch this though because I don't have any place to put like a towel holder, but over here I do. A little mat right there. And then we just need something above the toilet. A little painting or something would be nice. Oh, this is good. Or even, no, this one's even better. Perfect. Okay, beautiful. Let's do grandma's room. Now grandma's room is a tricky one because I put her bed in the corner. I didn't want to give her a twin size bed. So now I have to deal with this. Like, I don't even know what to do with a rug here. It's normally, a, I don't know, like maybe something like that. Oh, we could do a fuzzy rug for grandma. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> and now look, look at these fancy colors, right? Grandma's gonna love that. <laughs> 
fake grandma who I made up in my head. <laughs> but grandma also gets a fancy mirror, okay? And I'll give her a chair. I didn't give anybody else a chair. Why am I putting that chair when I could give her a freaking rocking chair? Hello? It was almost a huge opportunity wasted. We'll also give her some of the nifty knitting stuff. Like here's like the little knitting cart. It's very cute. Put like some of these up on the wall. Maybe these are like her creations. A whole tool thing? Whoa. Look at this. Grandma's got the freaking hookup. Look at this. I feel like I need to give her a dresser though. Uh, but I really like these items. They're so cute. Okay, maybe I could do this. That's a little less crazy. I could put a plant right there. We can put some little balls of yarn right here on the floor. Ready to go. We'll put a little plant. We still need one more Star Wars item, don't we? I forgot how many I put in here. I did one here, one there. Oh no, and then I did one there. Never mind, I'm done. I'm done with Star Wars. I thought I was still trapped. Trapped in there, but I'm not. I'm free. I, I think she does need something above her bed. I don't know what, I guess a painting. I guess I'll just put it like right. Oh my God, that's, that was huge. Guess I can just put it right above her bed. I could do something like this maybe. I guess that's better than nothing. Oh, we should give her curtains. There we go. All right, sorry grandma. That's not the best room in the world, but at least you have stuff to do in there. Okay, that's better than nothing. Also, I'm gonna change these beds to like kind of flip the ombre effect. So we're gonna do like right on the bottom, yellow on the top. I kind of like it, whatever. What if I did, would this work if I did a dresser in the middle? Uh, this is like a dorm room. <laughs> I'm just realizing it's like a dorm room, but for children. Cause we could put like a little teddy bear over there. For some reason these won't fit. So I have to do this trick. There we go. And I think I'll take the same curtains that I used in here for in here. They're just so cute. The yellow ones do match really well, but almost like, it's almost like too much. I don't know what I should do about that. Okay. And then over here, let's give them like a little station to do something like either science or art. Personally, I think the science one is really cool. So I think we'll do that one. That one's really fun. We'll put some cute decals on the wall. A little unicorn right there. I freaking love this one. This is so cute. I use it all the time. <laughs> the little bunny one right there. There. We'll put some little like moon and cloud decal things right there. And maybe here we can do, oh, yeah. I love this one. I love this one, it's so cute. Okay, I still feel like there should be a rug, but like maybe that, I mean, it's, I guess that kind of works. Like right there in the middle. Okay, I like that. All right, it's colorful, it's cute and I'm done. Oh my God. This is really something. This is really something. I have my fountain. We stayed very well within the budget. Seven, actually eight Sims can sleep in this house. I've got three Star Wars items. There is a bowling alley. I I feel a little bit bad that I couldn't incorporate it into the actual house. My basement plan fell through. It would have worked. Okay, it would have worked, but it's out there. All right, but yeah, there's my uh, there's my little house. If you want to try this for yourself, I'll have the link down below to the uh, generator that I used. And good luck, because they're freaking hard. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>